All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I took a little informal poll this week, and everybody seems to uh, like the what you don't see coming reading, so I'm going to do that today. I hope that is uh, to your liking. If you're looking for this week's readings, um, we, I will put a link in the description box below. Also, next week, I'm going to be doing the 2024 uh, prediction readings for each of the zodiac signs. So stay tuned to this here bat channel if you want to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you get notified of any new content I make. It would be much appreciated. All right, so let's start with Saggy. Sagittarius, we are in your birth. Uh, we are in your birthday uh, month. This is my birthday today. So Shout out to all y'all who have a December 9th birthday. I hardly ever meet anybody with a December 9th birthday, but I got a lot of friends who are December 7th, December 8th, December 10th, all over the place. I must be the only one with a December 9th birthday. I know you're going to tell me that that's wrong, which is cool because I want to know who I want to know who's got my own birthday time. Awesome, awesome. So let me just work on this a little bit so it's not quite so there we go. All right. So let's get going. Sagittarius, you are up first. So Saggies, I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. Going to shuffle a little bit more. As always, if you want to learn how to read tarot from me, there is a link to my class in the description box. Okay. So let's see where we go. Sagittarius, what is going on for you, my darling? Cut away what is no longer needed for you. 100%. In fact, that's interesting because I uh, I had to stop this video and start again because uh, I had somebody um, cutting a little tree right out in front of my house, cutting back the limbs that are um, needing to be trimmed. And that was just happening as I, uh, and it's a nine, it's a nine card. So I'm going to say that that definitely is for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Saggies, these are all sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So what don't you see coming, Sag? Four of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like, Sag, you might be feeling a little bit um, protective of your heart, okay? Uh, yeah, look at you. See the strength card? That's you, but look at that. That's the Knight of Cups riding up behind you. I don't think you see that coming. Opportunity, Ace of Wands, a lot of passion, baby, a lot of passion and commitment. Commitment coming your way. Wow. Leo, Taurus, Three of Swords is underneath, Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So I, I do feel like this person maybe could be a, uh, like I said, a, a Leo or a Taurus. Uh, could also be um, a water sign. I am getting a loud reading off of this. This is the card of um, Wish Granted. So you know who I'm talking about. Some of you do know who I'm talking about. I think you're protecting your heart so that you don't get disappointed if you're feeling like, well, I don't know, this person may show up, they may not show up. Um, and I feel like there has been um, maybe some kind of heartache with this person in the past. There are some truths, there are some communication um, nuggets. There are some things that need to come in this conversation with this person, but this is somebody that you really want to come toward you. I think you'll be super excited about this. And what is no longer needed for you, some of you have been really protecting your heart because you are not sure, right? You're just not sure about what's going on with this person. And I think you need to cut away any kind of like pushing back I know, Saggies, we are really open and we are optimistic, but I think some of you might be like pushing back against um, getting your heart broken. This, if this person broke your heart once before, I think you're going to have a chance to talk about that. And I think they're going to tell you some truths that you may not see coming about that. OK, some lessons they had to learn that you possibly couldn't have taught them. And uh, I feel like this starts out with a lot of passion. This goes right to commitment. OK, this goes right to commitment um, for Saggies. So I'm going to do this because it's your birthday. This is a little timing deck I have. That's Leo. So that could be. Yeah, it's already here. 
So this person is already in your life or showing up in your life in some way. It could turn into a romantic, very romantic, very committed thing this summer in Leo time. But this person is already around. You're already manifesting them into your life. And if there's any kind of um, cut away what is no longer needed for you, any little clarity about that would be awesome. Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands. Fool. Wow. Okay. Clear sailing. Two of Cups. This is clear sailing. I feel like you have done a good job of doing some healing work around this situation. I also feel like you might have, have um, let go of somebody who was standing in the way of this. Okay. Let go of somebody who was standing in the way. All right, so that is for Sagittarius. Happy birthday. I do think by next summer, this will have turned into a full-on commitment. Just saying, okay? All right, so let's move on to Capricorn. What is going on for Capricorn, even though you might not see it coming? <laughs> to be enlightened, lighten up, okay? Good point by you, universe. Um, there's something here about uh, having more fun, uh, like it's not a frivolous thing to enjoy oneself. Uh, sometimes Capricorn, and I'm, I'm only speaking um, from a, a place of, of love to you, that not everything has to be measured and uh, part of a balance sheet and part of a, a goal. Okay, not everything has to do has to be sort of um, part of your process. Sometimes uh, I feel like something is going to come in that's going to knock you off that kind of structured existence. Something that's silly and funny that you might feel is frivolous. What is coming in for Capricorn, even though you don't see it coming? Look at you, Knight of Cups. That is you. The situation, Five of Swords. Underneath is the hermit. You know how to deal with this. You're okay. The moon. And then the outcome is the strength card. So in this deck, this five of swords piece is, um, I almost feel like you might be uh, battling or in some kind of competition. You might have a person that you feel is, is really wow and you're in competition for their heart. I'm going to say this to you. They are in competition for your heart. I feel like they see you as the prize. They see you as somebody that they want to, you know, beat off the competition and so they can get to you. So if you're thinking that they don't see you that way, they do. All right. And this hermit energy here, some of you have been alone too long, or some of you have been dealing with a current situation that is lonely for too long. What you can do is transmute that energetic experience into um, wisdom for yourself. Like everything doesn't have to be so serious all the time. And I feel like this new moon in um, Sagittarius is going to bring in some kind of powerful love connection. This strength card, you can do this. All right. You can definitely do this. Um, lighten up. Lighten up, Capricorn. It's time to... It's time to welcome in love and it's time to understand that you are a prize. There is somebody who's vying for your attention. You are the prize. It's not the other way around. Wow. Okay. So that is for Capricorn. Let's see where we go for Aquarius. What is showing up even though you don't see it coming? What is showing up for you, Aquarius? All right, here we go. Synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space. All right, so pay attention to synchronicities, pay attention to how people talk, what you, words people use, okay? Pay attention to pieces of music that you hear, things that come across your email or things that come across your awareness, maybe in your YouTube feed or whatever. There are some synchronicities that are letting you know that love is trying to come in, all right? There is love trying to come into your life right now. Okay, so I'm getting this high priestess. This is your intuition. Ten of swords. Something is completed another person's, in another person's life in the love of your life. 
in their life. Okay, um, here you are, Aquarius, as the Hierophant. The situation, wow, King of Wands, taking action, opportunity, Six of Wands, overcoming any past difficulties or blocks with this person. Yep, difficulties and blocks right here, Nine of Wands, and the outcome, look at this, the Nine of Cups. So you are definitely getting your wish granted here, and I feel like it does require some kind of action it's an intuitive action okay i think that what is being tried what is trying to come through to you through these synchronicities if you're seeing 333 a lot if you're seeing 1111 whatever i feel like the universe is trying to say to you yes they are out of another situation they are done with another situation it is over for them okay they might need to do some logistical things but in in terms of emotionally and spiritually, that connection is done. So if you've been waiting for somebody else to kind of extricate themselves, I think there is action coming that they are going to extricate themselves from another situation. They will be victorious in doing that, probably from another commitment, okay? If you are extricating yourself from another commitment, you will be victorious in that. There are some heal, there is some kind of healing here the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. This is somebody who's really been through the wars here. And it's not necessary to build a wall. It's necessary to integrate these lessons now in how you do this new relationship. Nine of Cups, really beautiful, really beautiful. Synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space. Seven of Pentacles, whatever you've waited for a long time, Two of Pentacles, King of Cups, Star. That's your card. That's Aquarius. This is also about hope and healing. Yeah, this person is coming to you from across time and space. They could live at a distance. King of Cups. All right, they are working on that healing energy. Ooh, that's really beautiful. They're coming to you, baby. Wish is granted. I love it. There you go, Aquarius. I love, love, love that. All right, so let's see. Let's see what is happening for my Pisces folks. I'm going to take this over here. What is going on for Pisces, please? Close your eyes to open your heart. Nobody knows that better than Pisces. I feel like I feel like you do live through your heart, Pisces, more than almost any of the other signs. This is a seven card, so I feel like there's something lucky that's coming even though you don't know it. Um, I feel like you have to see this with the energy of your heart and not, oh, okay. So if you're not seeing this in front of you, right, what your, you know, what your eyes can, um, discern, you're seeing it from your heart. Okay. So what is going on for Pisces, please? What is going on for Pisces? Intuition. All right. So you're showing up as the high priestess. Eight of Swords, see the blindfold, okay? That's the situation. What you're seeing in your life might be a little bit of a minefield here, but when you kind of close your eyes and open your heart, you're gonna see something very, very different. All right, the moon. Lots of, uh, lots of allusions to the moon here. This is Cancer and Pisces, right? Cancer and Pisces together. So could be another water sign coming in to see you, strength. Have we gotten Leo in every single one? I think we have. Um, there's that Leo energy again. Strength, Six of Swords. Uh, so this person could be another water sign or a Leo. I feel like you guys are moving forward together. It's almost like you see how the Six of Swords are in this boat? Like we're taking our ideas, what we want to do together, and we're moving on from a bad situation to a better one. Uh, I almost feel like the, the person in the boat that you're helping or you're the one in the boat that someone else is helping, you see how they're just stuck into the ground and it's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You guys together are moving forward. The Three of Swords, really beautiful energy. Temperance, Three of Pentacles, and the Sun. Definitely a fire sign. Okay, this person definitely has fire sign energy. They're Sagittarius. Uh, temperance and the three of pentacles and the sun again. So more Leo energy here. Uh, you guys could be, um, I do see a couple of babies in this reading. Okay. So there can be, 
uh, creation of a family. Somebody could be getting pregnant. Somebody could be bringing, um, uh, healing their inner child so that there can be a beautiful relationship. This is really going in a lovely direction, Pisces. Um, all right, I'll use my little timing deck for you too. Something about manifesting in this new moon. December 12th, you have a new moon in Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to need to manifest. Manifest this situation in that new moon. And time for Scorpio season. So we've passed Scorpio season. That could This could have started in Scorpio season. You could know who this is already. Or this could be the focus of your year. I am going to be doing the readings for everybody for the predictive readings for 2024 next week. And it does feel a little bit like the prepper, all preparations are being made. Like, you know, this is coming in. And the whole point of these readings are like what you don't see coming. You may not see it in your 3D life, but you know it. Okay, Pisces, you do know it. That is so cool. All right, that is for Pisces. Oh, close your eyes to open your heart. Pisces. All right, let's check with Aries. What is happening with my Aries friends? All these are Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I pull cards at the end for everybody watching. Momentum more. There may not be a someday. No reason to sit on your hands, Aries. All right, no reason to sit on your hands. What is going on for Aries? Okay, what is going on for Aries? Okay, wow. So we got a big jump, bunch of jumpers here. All right, so this is, you're showing up as Libra and Libra is your opposite sign. So this is kind of nice. This is about um, me versus we. This is about me taking action and the we of commitment. Here's the Empress. This is the situation. So there's something here about being very committed or, or making a commitment. No, no time to waste, tower. Uh, no time to waste here. Page of Pentacles. Some of you have learned, okay, Seven of Pentacles. You sit on your hands too long and things go away. Something about commitment. Hierophant, Hanged Man, and the Two of Pentacles. Don't sit on your hands. There's a tower coming. There's some kind of big change coming. And I almost feel like the quicker you go in the direction of the person that you want to be committed to or the or the quicker you manifest them into your life, you'll be together when this tower happens. And I feel like that's a really good thing. That's why this is moving you along. Okay, this is moving you along. There's a lot of slow energy here. The Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. That's a lot of slow energy plus the Hanged Man right? The releasing of, um, or the surrendering to the, to the situation. I feel like this is showing up though. Every single card in here is stationary, except these, there may not be a someday tower. Like don't be, don't be complacent. It really is time to take action. I feel like you might be moving too slowly on something. Okay, Aries. So you got to get going, get cracking, McCracken. Get cracking. Don't sit on your hands. That is not going to benefit you. There is a tower coming. And so that can be like you got to be there when that tower happens in order to be together with this person. Or you've got to be aware of the fact that there may not be a someday. So I can't sit around. Okay. That message is for Aries. So for Taurus, what's the message for Taurus? Your 11-year-old self. Have a little fun. Lighten up. Um, have some joy in your life. If you don't have joy in your life right now, it's time to do that or get that or go in that direction more. The energy of joy, okay, is what's coming in for Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. Could be resting on your laurels a little bit here, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles, New Beginnings. What's underneath here? Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Again, some slow energy here. And the King of Swords. So um, I feel like you have 
a sense of duty and a sense, very serious energy here with the King of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. And this Page of Pentacles, I feel like you have this new opportunity that's coming in to really um, align with your heart's desire. There's an op This is what's coming in for Taurus, a new opportunity, a completely new life. You're going to have to walk through that gate. You can't see what's on the other side, can you? Not really. You're going to have to um, kind of look through the lens of your 11-year-old self. I like that. Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, the Sun, and that Three of Swords. So some of you have to cut away an old life. Some of you, especially one that isn't fun. You might feel this is very frivolous, Taurus, but I'm saying to you that um, align yourself with your joy, childhood joys. I feel like that's the new opportunity. It's going to be fun. And you don't see this coming. Like, could be a new job. Could be a new lifestyle. Could be a new set of friends. I think you, I think you will see this clearly when you do that, when you align with your 11-year-old self. There's been too much seriousness, Taurus. And I think you're being asked to um, get into your child again. Get into that energy of child. What did you want to be when you were six years old? Did you want to be a ballerina or a fireman or something like that? Like you've really got to get back to your childlike self. That is for Taurus. Okay, so for Gemini, what is going on for Gemini? All right, I'm going to put you right there. What's going on for Gemini? Starseed. Some of you Geminis have a twin flame connection coming in. Some of you don't know anything about star seeds or that you're a star seed or anything like that. Star seeds are basically souls that have incarnated in other parts of the galaxy. And now they're here on planet Earth. So star seeds and um, Twin flame connections that are star seeds, they're called gold ray, blue ray. Okay, that's a star seed soulmate. If you want to learn more about soulmates and star seeds and um, twin flames, Pathfinders. Okay, we do a lot about this. We talk a lot about this in Pathfinders, my group on Wednesdays. Okay, so for Gemini, three of pentacles. You're showing up as the three of pentacles. I'm wanting to build my future. Ten of Wands is the situation. Put down that which doesn't work for you anymore. I, I just feel like some of you are reclaiming yourself. Star. Opportunity is to heal. That's also an Aquarian energy. There's your card, lovers. Outcome, Hermit. Knight of Cups, King of Wands, wow. And the Seven of Swords. Mm. Anything about that? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I think you're going to have to be confident. Um, I uh, Okay, so you might be in a connection right now that is, um, it's so much work. It's all work for you. It's a ton of work. This is a karmic connection. Could be with a, a Gemini. No, could be with an Aquarian or a Virgo. It's a ton of work. And I almost feel like your soul is making a choice to go for the twin. You have a twin, um, could be a Virgo. All right, they could be um, connected to somebody else. Right now, the Seven of Swords and this Nine of Pentacles. Stay confident. Even if they're connected to somebody else, I feel like this person is going to take some action, some romantic action toward you. Okay, the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. I feel like you're offloading a karmic connection here. All right, really offloading a karmic connection. Something that you, it's like, it's so much work. I think once you realize, it's not that relationship aren't, relationships aren't effort. They are. But this one is, um, mm. something big happened in Libra season. Okay, so September this year, something big happened that maybe shifted your opinion or connection with this person, September, October, something like that. And 
you might be walking away from a connection, making a choice for healing for yourself. You're going to be, what you don't see coming is you're going to have a lot of choices. Some of you don't think you have choices right now. You do. Okay. Could be a water sign. Could be a fire sign. I really like the Virgo energy here. The decision to walk toward the twin shows a level of healing that I don't think you have been aware of in your life. Don't e even know that you can do this. Some of you are going to be stepping in um, as a guide for your twin. Something like that, Gemini. Lots going on for Gemini. Lots going on. All right, let's talk about cancer. What is happening for Cancerians? Come on, you guys. All right, what's happening for Cancerians? I'll use this. <laughs> three, two, one, jump. My favorite card, I was born at 3.21 a.m. This is always my favorite card. Cancerians, it's time to jump onto a new timeline. It's time to take the leap of faith. Okay, Cancerians, let's see. Okay. See how much Leo we got going on here? I feel like next year during Leo time, we should revisit this reading. Um, Cancerans, you're showing up as strength. You might be overpowering something that has held you back. You might be learning to heal from something. Yep, making better choices. The Seven of Pentacles. You have a choice right now, Cancerians. Seven of Wands. Could have been resisting it for a while. There you are. King of Cups. All right. And outcome is the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, or sorry, Nine of Swords and the World. Look at that integration. Okay. I think you're doing uh, uh, feel the fear and do it anyway. Okay. Something like that. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Some of you are overcoming a lot of fears about going towards somebody that you love or loves you. This could be a twin flame connection. All right, I, I really feel like this is my one of my twin flame cards in this deck because of that union of masculine feminine, okay? Um, in time for Christmas. I keep getting this for cancers. My goodness, three, two, one, jump. Time to jump onto a new timeline. It's only two weeks till Christmas. So get cracking. <laughs> oh my goodness, Cancer. <coughs> it's time to make a stronger uh, a choice toward your own happiness. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Go towards your twin flame for union. Really good. Okay. So let's see. Three, two, one, jump. Leo. We have seen your card here a bunch of times. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So Leo, some of you are really overgiving in a connection, in a relationship. Some of you are, are um, trying to be all things to all people. You are in every damn reading, okay? So here you're showing up as the Empress. That's Venus energy, very balanced, sort of pregnant with ideas. Hermit, wisdom, pregnant with wisdom, opportunity. Ace of Pentacles, I love this. Four of Wands, wow, Leo, six of Wands. It's like you can have your choice. Did you just, I mean, go back and look at how many times Leo came up in these first readings. Almost every single one, I had the sun or the strength card in almost every single one. And of course, I'm not getting it here for you because you are the strength card. You are that Leo energy. And I just feel like this is lovely. This is sort of like really um, starting to take yourself more seriously, starting to see that new opportunities come from a full cup, from you um, being ready for them and being nurtured and having the wisdom, okay, uh, and living your life through that wisdom. Death, chariot, tower, wow, and the knight of wands. Okay, so big, big change is coming. All right, Leo, big change is coming. You can have your pick. Like I said, there's 
so many um, opportunities coming toward you. This Knight of Wands, you may you may be very highly sought after. Lots of fast movement here. Over the next uh, four weeks, this this Ace of Pentacles is coming in. So be ready for it. I think you will be. Wow, Leo, and be what I mean by be ready for it. I mean fill up your own cup. Give yourself give yourself what you want from a lover, or give yourself what you want from a um a partner fill yourself up take care of yourself take good care of yourself absolutely all right so virgo this card is screaming at me virgo ancestor all right the ancestor messages uh i did a reading um friday morning was my ancestor message for each zodiac sign so you might want to catch that on the channel all right what is going on for virgo I get this very strong feeling that some ancestor is really helping you right now. Eight of Pentacles, maybe with your career. Eight of Cups, walking away from an old career. Queen of Wands, there's definitely a fire sign helping you. This person is angelically sent. Your ancestor is like putting you two together. Really lovely. The Five of Wands, lots going on. Two of Wands, looking out into the world. Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, there's Virgo, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Cups. This person that's helping you, Aries Leo Sag, is somebody who sees your potential. This is a little bit of a process reading because I'm not getting any, oh, I got one major arcana card. I feel like you need to see what's going on right now from a different perspective, okay? And recognize that an, an ancestor, possibly a male ancestor, is helping you get where you need to go, moving you out of an old career into a new one, bringing people across your path who are going to help you. This Queen of Wands could be a love interest, right? Because this is a, um, a past life soulmate connection with this person. Queen of Wands. Yep, past life soulmate. Whenever I say something and I get the Ace of Swords, whatever I just said, 100%. Emperor. Page of Swords and the Magician. So you're going to be able to write your ticket. This person is really moving you away from something that was a little bit drudgery and bringing you into something that is leadership, that is um, expansion, man manifesting in a big way. Okay, manifesting in a big way. This person uh, is changing your life, is going to change your life. And a male ancestor is... Uh, divinely guiding this so say thank you say thank you that is for virgo i love it all right what about for libra galactic grandmother another ancestor a female ancestor or a, a divine feminine ancestor let's see let's use this for libra Pachimama. Yep. <laughs> Ace of Swords. So definitely uh, maybe a, um, um, a galactic grandmother. So it's possible that this is a uh, very, I always think of this as Charlotte's Web, right? This is a spider here. This is the great communicator. I always think of Charlotte's Web. I think of that nerd, that book, that beautiful book about being, you know, being who you are something like that five of pentacles is the situation opportunity is the king of cups somebody uh, pay, uh cancer pisces scorpio leaving behind a, a bankrupt situation leaving behind to come toward you magician you have manifested this in brand new path brand new path Wow. Brand new path, Libra. Four of Cups, Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like there's a lot of um, a lot of work to be done to overcome this Five of Pentacles. Somebody could just be showing up with the shirt on their back. Okay. They may not have a lot. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo energy could be, uh, yeah, Gemini or Virgo. There's Mercury here. Uh, this is happening before Mercury goes retrograde, December 12th, so next week. Is that right? 
galactic grandmother. So uh, Virgo, if this is a Virgo, if these stories are connected, that Virgo has a masculine ancestor. You have a feminine ancestor. After this weekend. Uh-huh. Wow. We got a lot of very immediate, um, right, in time for Christmas after this weekend. I feel like before we get to the Mercury retrograde, though. So, um, Libra, you definitely have a, f uh, a feminine ancestor who is working on your behalf. Wow. To get you two together. That is beautiful. So you don't see that coming. Uh, it's not showing up anywhere in your life yet. Well, maybe it's showing up in some little glimmers here and there. These beautiful. I love this. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you to the masculines and the feminines who are working on our behalf. All right. And Scorpio, what is going on for Scorpio? The universe wants to co-conspire with you. Let's use this. Scorpio, what is going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, please. Three of Wands. The Lover's Card. Some new decisions. Page of Cups. Three of Cups. Ace of Swords. <laughs> so this makes me, I was going to say, and then the Ace of Swords came out. It could start off kind of slow like friends. Um, and this has to do with trust. This person may only offer like a small thing, like a small bit of connection, but you should know that this person um, speaks truth. I think you can trust this person. Yeah, fool, look at that. Two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. I think you should put a lot of time, look at you freaking out. I think you should put a lot of time and effort into this connection. I think you have been asking the universe for your person. They're gonna show up as a friend first. So. Don't freak out. It's good. All right. It's all good. So that is for Scorpio. Um, the universe wants to co-conspire with you. When you heal your heart. Yeah. Scorpio has some trust issues. I noticed that in the uh, weekly reading, whatever Scorpio I'm connecting, whoever I am connecting with, um, I feel like you're getting some opportunities, but you're just not trusting yourself to, um, to pick them or to choose it, right? You're not trusting yourself that this is, you know, a good person for you or something like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, my darlings. So let's do a reading for everybody, for everybody watching. Use a different deck here. Let's use this. This is the Sacred Symbols deck. All right. Psychic. Nature Spirits. Shadow. Underneath is Past Life. So um, I'm, I'm connecting into you guys who are really working on your healing. Okay, some of you are, are working on up leveling into becoming mediums or opening up your spiritual uh, path, opening up your spiritual gifts. And I feel like almost inadvertently you stumble onto a soulmate or a twin flame. This is coming through pretty loudly right now. Pay attention to people who have a lot of synchronicities with you. All right, underneath is the Six of Wands, Victory. You're showing up as the Three of Pentacles. This is about building your future. It's also about me, you, and God, right? We're connected together. We're building our future. Situation is the Eight of Swords. I think you have to really start feeling your feelings instead of thinking your feelings, okay? That's one of the things that's being asked of us is to access our feelings, opportunity world where are we going here ten of pentacles seven of swords tower and the outcome is the eight of cups so some of you guys are going to be walking away from a traditional experience all right some of you have a traditional kind of life and um i feel like you've held yourself back from opening up 
to past lives or Akashic records or anything like that that may feel a little foreign, there's a past life karmic, no, there is a past life connection that is very sudden, that shows up in your life very suddenly and changes the direction of your life. All right, changes the direction of your life. Uh, I almost feel like some of you feel like your family lied to you. Okay, or that your family lied to you. It's fine about like what's what's important in terms of our life and what we're doing with our life. It used to be, well, it's really important to get a good job and get it and do all this kind of stuff. And like now we're moving into a completely different way of living. So some of the things that our families told us, it's not like they meant to lie to us to upend us or torture us or hold us back, but that's what it's doing. Okay, it's kind of holding us back and keeping us from, you know, activating this energetic frequency that we have, uh, opening up to our psychic capabilities, opening up to our connection with nature spirits and the fairies and all of that. Like it's really held us back from that. And now we're sort of saying, you know what, all bets are off. Big change is coming through and it's like it doesn't matter anymore. All right, the things that you once thought were important do, don't matter anymore. All right, let's see. Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. This is Fated and Destined. Wow. Wow. Ten of Cups, Five of Wands. There's going to be a lot of people, right? I just, Knight, Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. But I feel like this is what's coming in after everything gets kind of blown up. We are going to be dealing with some things, okay, going into um, going into January. We will have Pluto moving into Aquarius. I've been talking about that a lot this month. We are also going to have um, Mercury going direct on January 1st. And we have Uranus going direct later in January. All planets direct by the end of January. And I feel like that's what this is. Some of you who have been feeling like a new love coming in or a twin flame coming in, I do feel like you kind of had to blow up some lies that were told to us by um, family or by our society or how we, what we think is important. The values that we think are important are coming to a close. Some things that have held us back right? Ways of doing things, corporate America, whatever, like it's definitely held us back. And I just feel like in order to be fulfilled, in order to be moving toward this 10 of cups, we have to walk away from some things. Okay. We definitely have to walk away from some things. Not everybody will, not everybody will. All right. So just be cool, anchor yourself, anchor yourself. I feel like if you're watching readings, if you're really just know that you are building something brand new. If something has been holding you back, it's likely it has been tradition, society's expectations, something like that. We are as a collective going in a beautiful direction. All systems go in 2024. Next week, I'll be doing all the readings about that. I'll see you over there.